So in this section, we are going to talk about a tool uh, which is known as RPI TX and it will make your Raspberry Pi device as a transmitter, as a signal transmitter. Uh, so, it, and it can transmit signal from 5 kilohertz up to 1500 megahertz. So it's a very good range. And you don't need anything else. You just need your Raspberry Pi device and that's it. So let's just look at this tool. Uh, so over here you can see the link of this tool. Uh, the name is RPI TX and I will provide this link in the resources file and all the commands to install this tool uh, and uh, of course other commands as well. Uh, so let's just uh, download this tool. So let me copy and let me just go uh, on SSH connection of my Raspberry Pi. So I have uh, taken SSH connection of Raspberry Pi. Uh, so let's just clear out and let's just do git clone and we'll type this command and let's just hit enter. Uh, so it's downloading the tool. Uh, let's just go in this directory and uh, let's just do ls so over here you will find install.sh file so let's just install this tool over here you can see install.sh and it will download all the necessary files and all the other tools as well so it might take some time so let's just wait And after installation, it will ask you to modify boot uh, uh, the config file in boot directory. So you have to sh uh, say yes. So this tool can work properly. So let's just uh, say yes. And let's just hit enter. And the installation is done. After the installation, uh, you have to reboot. So let's just reboot. So reboot is done. Let's just log in. Let's just clear out and we will go in the same directory RPI TX and let's just do LS one more time and over here you can see different tools. So let's just start uh, with a test tool which is known as easy uh, test.sh. So let's just run this tool and look at all the different tools available in this uh, uh, in this software. So over here first we have to select the frequency for RPI TX to transmit. So as I said, we can transmit from 5 kilohertz to 1500 megahertz, but we will select uh, open frequency. Uh, so as you can see, 434 is an open frequency. So you have to check uh, your, your country, uh, what is the open frequency in your country. So over here, the open frequency is 434. So I'll keep the same frequency, but you can change the frequency over here. And let's just do OK. And now over here, you can see different tools. So you can see uh, these are different uh, basically tools and uh, these are different types of signals through uh, you can transmit. So you can transmit carrier signal, moving carrier. So let's just look at all these tools uh, in our HackRF1 uh, port pack. So let me turn on. And let's just go uh, in receive and in audio. And we will select the same frequency over here as well, which is 434. And let's just do done. And over here, right now, you can see uh, there is no signal. So let's just start with a uh, tuned carrier. So let me just hit enter. And over here, you can see a fine tune. So this is a uh, tune carrier let me just do ok to stop and you can see it is stopped and now let's just try uh, moving carrier as well so you will see a moving carrier on 434 uh, frequency 434 megahertz so let's just start and over here you can see a moving carrier 
and by the way let me tell you one more thing you can also increase the signal strength so as you can see we are just using raspberry pi to transmit signal and uh, it's a amazing tool you can just use this tool to transmit signals so you can also increase the signal strength we will talk about signal strength in a moment uh, but if you are not getting good signals and you are transmitting on a long range you can also increase signal strength so i'll talk about in a moment so let's just see all the other tools as well so there is also spectrum uh, painting so let's just see this tool as well so here you you can see it's asking us for the image so let's just do okay if this image is available i'm not sure let's just try and over here you can see it's transmitting image a sample image let's just do okay and there is rf my face uh, which will print a uh, image on a, a on a waterfall so let's just see this one as well so it's kind of same like a uh, image transmitter and there is also fm broadcast so you can also do fm broadcast as well so let's just see this one as well and let's just do okay so over here you can see it's transmitting the audio file right and then there is narrow fm as well we will transmit the same file on narrow fm so this is narrow fm and then there is uh, upper sideband modulation you can also transmit the same file in upper side uh, modulation we have to change to am to see this properly so as you can see over here you can see so let me again move to am to see other signals then there is am uh, modulation as well so over here you can see am modulation uh, then there is uh, voice uh, code as well digital voice mode let's just do ok and over here you can see the transmit there is sstv picture we can also transmit sstv but unfortunately right now uh, in uh, mayhem firmware we don't have a decoder for it so let's just uh, uh, transmit box seg message as well we can also transmit box seg messages uh, let's just do ok and it's transmitting hello world message over here you can see so this is a tool and we have gone through all the signals all the different types of signals uh, we will go through uh, some of these signals uh, in detail in our coming videos now let's just talk about uh, the signal strength as well so you can also increase the signal strength so let me just uh, transmit on uh, this uh, FM RDS and let's just transmit this audio file so over here right now you can see the signal strength right and you can also increase the signal strength by by using this jumper wire you just need this jumper wire to increase the signal strength so all you need to do is you have to uh, pin this jumper wire uh, on uh, pin number 7 which is GPIO pin number 4 so let's just pin this uh, on GPIO uh, pin number 4 which is pin 7 and you can just look at the signal over here the signal strength so let me just remove it and you can see the signal and let me just plug it one more time and now you can see the signal strength so this is how you can increase the signal strength uh, just using your uh, jumper wire so this is the transmitting tool uh, by uh, uh, rpitx uh, in our next video, we are going to see how we can transmit uh, pager messages and we will go uh, in detail of how to transmit pager messages. We will uh, go through a few of these things which, uh, which we can decode uh, through our port pack, uh, but you can use all these things as well. Uh, we, we will just focus on, on the things which we can decode with our port pack. 
So let's just look at POC seg message, pager messages in our next video. Thank you.